welcome back to another video it's your girl lisa or miss Bix. i just want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you so much for all the support that you do and this video is actually to thank you guys for being here i just want to thank you guys because we are nine thousand nine thousand plus subscribers i mean that is amazing that is great i just want to express my gratitude to all of you just to say thank you guys for all the support for watching my videos for liking for subscribing it really means a lot to me and also i just want to thank god because i owe it to god never in a million times did i think that i was going to get to like ten thousand subscribers or one hundred thousand subscribers guys i know we're not there but i'm talking in faith i'm talking in faith we're gonna get there we're gonna reach hundred thousand all of us here and we're gonna have a lot of fun here on this youtube channel but i just want to thank you so much for nine thousand nine nine thousand subscribers not nine not ninety not nine hundred but nine thousand i mean that's that's amazing i just want to thank you so much anyway whilst i'm celebrating this 9000k subscribers i just want to share a little bit of my youtube journey i'm so overwhelmed i'm so excited so i didn't really like go into detail into telling you guys like how do you start a youtube channel the camera what what, what cameras do you need i'm just gonna do like a cheat chart i'm just gonna tell you a little bit of the basics of the things that i've noticed on youtube I just want to give you an encouragement. I just want to say to that person who's always thinking that should I start a YouTube channel, I would say, go for it, girl. Go for it. Let me tell you this. I've got so many friends or so many relatives who are always saying I want to start a YouTube channel and they never get around to do it. And I don't know why. And they spend five years, six years, seven years thinking that, you know what, I want to start a YouTube channel. I was actually one of those people who used to say, I want to start a YouTube channel and I didn't start. So imagine if I started my YouTube channel like 10 years ago, that would have been amazing. I would have, you know, been somewhere by now, but I didn't start. I started my YouTube, I would say three years ago, my YouTube journey, when I gave birth to my daughter Gian and we were in lockdown, I didn't have a lot of things to do. And I was like, you know what, let me just do a YouTube video. And I remember we had a service uh, whilst I was like on my Zoom and then after finishing that service, I was like, you know what, let me record a video. And then I recorded my first video here and it was rubbish. I didn't even know that, you know, when you're recording, your phone should be in landscape view. You can't just put it like, you know, straight this. I didn't, but I just recorded a video and then I just uploaded it. And I just said, oh, please subscribe to my channel. And people actually started subscribing to my channel. So you don't need a lot. You just need to start. Go for it. Do it. Because the thing with YouTube, it's not like you have to to invest ten thousand pounds for you to be able to start a youtube channel you don't even need a penny all you need is your phone and a, a, a working internet take a video and then upload it on youtube you can even go in the bus and use the wi-fi in the bus and upload a youtube video so there's no excuse when it comes to starting just start just do it you can do it anybody can do it i've seen people who have said i started my youtube journey and for the past 10 years nothing is rigged and boom after 10 years my youtube channel grew i'm on 50k i'm on 100k it happens let's do it let's do it together we can do this man um i just want to tell you like my monetization i got monetized i think after about a year and six months that's when i got monetized i don't really know um ex the exact dead i can't remember but i can find them out later on and then i'll you know if anybody wants to know i can tell them so getting monetized on youtube you need four thousand watch hours and you need one thousand subscribers so if you're under one thousand subscribers you're not gonna get you know paid um you will get paid after you get one thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours let me tell you it's the four thousand watch hours that is really hard because when people come on youtube they just watch your video maybe for the first three minutes and that's it or they'll skip skip so you won't get the much the watch time as much as you would love to or as quicker as you would love to unless you're getting really 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 good people who are there to support you and then you're gonna get it quick but it's hard and when you get monetized it's not like you're gonna get your money straight away it takes time as well you need to get to a threshold where you have got i think it's 100 us dollars and when you've got 100 us dollars here in uk it's about 60 something pounds so obviously as youtubers we get paid our money is put in us dollars but then obviously when it's it's getting into your bank account it comes in pounds because they convert so it will be less it seems as if it's lesser but it's not because obviously pound is more powerful than us dollars 
but yeah that was kind of like my youtube journey and i've actually got paid quite nicely on you know on youtube i, I don't want to lie um maybe one of these days i will do a video just to show like how much i got paid on youtube it's a, it's been a nice side hustle but i haven't been really consistent like that to actually say you know what i've got a lot of money from youtube i wasn't consistent and sometimes i i wasn't paying attention to my video quality i'll just upload anything and you know if you spend six months without posting anything people are gonna forget your channel that's what happened to me if you spend another year without you know being on your channel people are gonna forget about your channel no matter how good you are you need to be consistent i feel like you need to be consistent and you know it's hard when you've got kids it's hard when you've got you know when you have to run a house when you've got to do many other things it's really hard but i think it's doable I will tell you this there are some people who are youtubers and would who put content that when you see it you're just like wow okay you actually posted that maybe i'm one of them but there are some people who do that but because those people are really consistent they do it you know religiously maybe twice three times uploads a week they keep growing their channel keep growing their subscribers keep growing and the people who watch their, their videos keep growing i will tell you like on the times that i was really consistent with uploading my videos my views would be so many because people are engaging in my channel people knows me people actually look forward to my videos but then when i stop like i'll give you an example right now i'm on 9000 subscribers but that doesn't mean that everybody's watching my videos why because i haven't been consistent and some people have already forgot about my channel so now it's like you're starting to build again so building again building again you will get maybe 200 views maybe 100 views the reason being is because i wasn't consistent and people have already forgotten my youtube channel so yeah that's that's what happened with youtube i think whatever you do when you want to start a youtube video the advice that i would give you is be consistent no matter what rubbish you're gonna be posting be consistent but i always feel like even though you're being consistent, try to make sure that you're improving the quality of your videos. You are investing in like lights, good lighting. You're investing like in, in things that makes life easier, that makes people actually enjoy your videos, if that makes sense. So another challenge also that I've been having when I was trying to do YouTube channel is not getting the support that you need i feel like sometimes you know this our husband if he's not into this youtube thing and he's not into this taking photos sometimes it's just really hard for him to support you which i understand because there are times that i really wanted to do like a video or a sit down video and my husband will be like oh, actually you need to get the kids and the kids will be coming to interrupt by the time that i finish doing that videos i'm puzzled i'm muddled i'm just tired i don't want to do it and i end up not posting all i would say is keep posting if you have to take a break take a break but when you come back be consistent be consistent be consistent that's that's the word that's the word for today consistency just be consistent even if you put a two minutes video i think just be consistent and i'm actually talking to myself about this honestly i am talking to myself and the other challenge on youtube is actually getting the subscribers or getting the viewers to click on subscribe it's hard reason why i'm saying this is because we are competing with a lot of people we are competing with tiktok uh you know with tiktok someone will teach you how to make uh for an example how to make pancakes in 30 seconds and people want that it's quicker and then i come here on youtube and i start teaching you how to make pancakes and my video is literally going to take 10 minutes which one would you would you watch 30 seconds or 10 minutes you will obviously go to the 10 second one so it's it's quite a challenge it's really 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 hard to get subscribers here but don't stop keep going it doesn't matter how many subscribers you do have the good thing about youtube videos is they are going to be there i've got videos some of the money that i get from adsense google adsense is for videos that i've recorded before people are watching the videos that i've recorded maybe two years ago and those are the videos that they are watching and i'm getting paid for those so it doesn't matter if the video is not getting a lot of views now it's gonna you know it's gonna pay off at some point so just keep being consistent anyway if i have 10 people if i have got 10 of you guys who are genuinely watching my videos and enjoying them i am happy anyway the most important thing that i feel like when you want to start creating your youtube content is don't think that you are getting into it because you want to get a lot of money you need money you need to be honest that's not the way to go about it because you will be disappointed 
really really disappointed because it doesn't happen that way it takes time for you to get paid and when you get paid sometimes you don't even get the views to actually get the money so it becomes really hard so if you're doing it for money only then it's gonna be really 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 disappointing it's just one of those things that you know uh, you should have a balance of you know if i get the money cool if i don't it's also cool i am sharing because i want to share the information to people or i'm sharing because i love sharing features not necessarily about money so when you get into it don't just think about money as the goal i think until after later stages for now just concentrate on creating good content concentrate on helping your subscribers that's what i think anyway so the last thing that i actually want to emphasize on here guys is if you want to start that youtube channel i mean start go on do it you know sometimes i'm so broken i just see that money from google adsense from island it just makes me so happy i'm just like oh lord thank you you know it's like a side hustle uh which is not too you know too demanding all you need is your phone a good camera quality making videos and you know starting i know it sounds easy the way that i'm saying but it's actually not easy the recording videos it's just so exhausting and it's so hard but it's doable you can do it that's why now these days i'm, I'm going to do vlogs more because vlogs you you do them whilst you go whereas when you're doing a sit down video i have to be in one place i'm sitting and doing it and i've got little kids that need my attention i've got little kids that do not have that concentration span a long concentration span so after five minutes they're gonna be coming here and saying mommy i don't know if you guys have seen the other video that i've done I've, i was actually holding my daughter on my lap because she didn't want to let me go even though i was doing a video even though she's three years you can't really you know understand what is happening but anyway guys anyway 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 the main reason why i made this video was to thank you to say thank you for nine thousand subscribers thank you thank you thank you so much i am so excited i'm so happy for us to get to 10,000 subscribers share this video like and subscribe i hope you're gonna subscribe if you haven't and i hope very soon we're gonna see you coming here on youtube making videos all of us youtubers so see you later guys bye bye you take care bye